Welcome to Good Food and Tourist Jamaica. And today we are making some roast fish with my yeah. uncle. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I you know so this is going to taste proper. Yo, this is going to taste good. This is definitely the best roast fish I've ever had. Hi everybody, today we're in our grandma's kitchen. <laughs> And we have Uncle Duane cooking. Percent. Red chef, Canadian chef, you know. Up top. Up top. Say, right? Pizza at <laughs> Okay, that's good. Alright, you get your, you get your video time? Yeah. So, right now we have Uncle Ding. He's going to tell us what he's doing right now. Alright, so right now we're just um, cutting up the spinach. As it is called in Canada, and here it is known as Kalaloo. We're just going to infuse this with some garlic and some chiffon butter, some real butter. <laughs> we're going to season our fish and we're going to have this as our stuffing. So come back a few minutes or more and you'll see the progress. Oi, oi, oi! Hear the man talk! <laughs> a lot of persons probably are going to say, How come he didn't use a chopping board? The man, they are country, and him just a cut up in Kalaloo, like how we country people do it. <laughs> Anyways, you need to cut up the Kalaloo finely because it's not going to be pre-cooked before stuffing in the fish. So you need to cut it really fine that it can cook in the same amount of time the fish takes to be cooked. He added in some chopped scallion and also some butter this ingredient um, call for a significant amount of butter <laughs> which adds flavor enhances the flavor of the fish what you mean? <laughs> so this will be our stuffing which is now complete so what's in this stuffing now? so in this stuffing we have um, spinach or mm -hmm. kalalu, we have a little black pepper, a little bit of salt, a little cayenne pepper, a little paprika, and lots of butter. Say that again for me. And lots of butter. <laughs> okay, so the fish is all cleaned, it's scaled, and it is sliced by the side, so the seasoning can rub up in it. Well, guess what, people? Guess what? The most important part of the footage glitch see that it can't move it now move so after you know i'm gonna catch i'm gonna catch the nice footage something go wrong with it so i had to improvise i found this old video of when my uncle was making roast fish around one year ago so it demonstrates exactly what he did even though the quality is not as good as the one that we had so what he actually did was to season the fish with fish seasoning so you can use any fish seasoning you like then he added cayenne pepper black pepper and salt and then just rub that all into the inside and the slices and then he's going to go ahead and stuff the fish with the stuffing right and then he just fold it up in some file paper make sure it's sealed good on both ends and you're good <laughs> all right we're outside now outside outside fishy 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 <laughs> oh far <fire> too big <laughs> so, all right Woo! so at this point we have our fish all prepared have the fire so, as you can imagine we're just going to put this on the grill mm -hmm. and start the roasting process this should take around 15 to 20 minutes or a little bit longer to determine uh, whether your fish is cooked or not you just basically touch it if it feels soft then you know it is cooked if it is hard it is not good. in addition to that we'll be having some roast breadfruit with Oh, it's supposed to be roast bread, bread food with butter, but we no longer have any butter. <laughs> <laughs> roast bread food and cooking iron. <laughs> roast bread food with, with the colorloo filling from the fish. Yes. So, <laughs> it will all come together. Yes. 
So just wait here until this simmers and then start the process. Right, you can put it now. Alright. Let me let me move now. Alright, so because we don't want this to burn, burn. at all, we're just going to put it around the edges. Mm -hmm. And then as soon as the flame or fire simmers uh, down a bit, we're just going to move things to the center of the water. Man, who teach you all of this? See you there. <laughs> Grandma! <laughs> yeah. mm. So this is it for now. We'll check this back another three to five minutes. Mm -hmm. And then to check the heat and then we reposition the fish as we go along. Alright. Oh. <laughs> Very good. Mm. So, so far. Oh, so far. Can I give a look? Oh yeah. You smell that? Wow! Oh my god! Hmm? Yeah, ready. Ready, one? Mm -hmm. You just give me that with the file. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, look at that! Alright, Ali, just tell me all this case in here. Right, so you can right, good. Because I do like a mask. Don't you? Street, irresponsible. I ask you, where is he? You say he must be to look for him because you don't even know where he is. Who is it? You are irresponsible. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 So bonus video guys, this is the family cookout. I'm showing you a part of my family activity, how we family in. <laughs> My family with love. My mom is dishing out the food. This dinner was actually hosted by my uncle. He decided that he wanted to get the family together while he was in Jamaica before he go back to Canada. And he make sure to cook up some nice curry chicken, some jerk chicken, and a potato salad, and roast fish, a <laughs> whole heap of food. And we come together and we eat. We show love. And we just laugh, just pure good vibes, good energy. Everybody help out and cook. And even the cat enjoy the crumbs will fall off the table, but you know, so the cat get no food. And this is it. We eating together, enjoying this delicious food. Mm. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more episodes like this. Woohoo!